Hello and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the level 4 GM Cold Districts type. Or Districts, yeah, Districts type. And, uh, yeah, they just added the level 4 version of it. And, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll explain in a little bit. Uh, bullets, like ballistic bullets, machine guns, really, uh, fell out of favor in this game. Uh, they're good, but like, there's so many better options. So the thing with guns is they do constant damage and they can break parts easily. Oh, we just teleported here. <laughs> PS4 recordings. Um, but the pr the problem is for the damage you can do with one clip of a machine gun. And uh, the parts you can destroy. Or at least let's start with the damage. The damage you do with one clip. Some person with half a brain can do more just by, you know, using their bazooka on somebody. Sunning them and then getting a downswing off. And then, you know, if you want to break your parts, well... Oh, there's Efri behind me. Well, you can, uh... By the time you can sufficiently break their legs... They're already nearly dead anyway. <laughs> Or, uh, you know, if, uh, or, you know, somebody has a bazooka and there goes a lot of damage on their legs in a significantly less time with only one shot. It's, uh, yeah, it's, they're really hard to use, some of these lower ones. Within the GM Cold Districts type now, this thing is, uh, this thing's gun is superb. It's really amazing. Uh, it's one of the few uh, suits that it's probably better for you to, uh, you know, shoot with. <laughs> you, you don't want to use a bazooka with this suit. Although it does have a stun in the form of a grenade launcher on your gun, which is pretty useful uh, as well. It overcomp it compensates for the problems that the regular guns have because of its uh, insane firing speed. So you get more bullets and damage off on uh, on a single target in less time than or at at the same time when you shoot a gun at that same time. If that <laughs> fuck it up, yeah. If you shoot a gun, if you shoot two guns at the same time. I'm trying to trying to trying to be science man here. <laughs> if you shoot uh, two different guns at the same time, one of them the uh, let's call it, let's say like the basic 100 millimeter gun versus this gun, in that short amount of time, like let's say you give it like uh, two seconds. Well, in those two seconds, the cold districts type probably emptied its clip <laughs> halfway through its clip, and it did more damage and it shot more shots to easily break somebody's legs. So you get all that benefit, all the benefits of uh, what machine guns bring to the table, but in a fast, snappy package, that is the, uh, oh, just ran into that, in the uh, Cold Districts type. Now, the thing with this suit is, it, it can almost be solely carried, carried just by its gun, but it also has maneuver armor, which is really handy. You can go up to somebody and, uh, you know, slice them, you know, slice and dice. So it's got a it's got a stun, a really good gun, it has a melee, and uh, maneuver armor. However, oh, it's general type too, so you can smell people's health, <laughs> like that dude. Um, however, it does have one major flaw or weakness, and that's that it doesn't have a dodge roll. Uh, and at four hundred, that's almost like. That's important to have for a general because uh, there's a lot of things that can stun you and that you can't get out of. Like here, I'm trying to run away because I can't really fight this guy one to one and he hit me with a landing swing. I don't think, uh, I get in a little bit better position but then the Zuda F spawns in and fucking smokes me. <laughs> so yeah, the, the cool districts type is uh, pretty damn good. It's just that you have to get used to have not having a dodge roll. It's, uh, other than that, man, you can make quick work of people with it. It's, I wouldn't say it's good for, like, 1v1s, necessarily. Uh, at, at 400, maybe in, you know, lower cost, it's probably better for that. 
but uh, it's a pretty good secondhand general to have to help to help out your uh, front line. You know, for some people, uh, for some people, when they get shot with like they take a lot of damage or they uh, they take a lot of hits. Doesn't matter how much damage they actually take, but when they get hit a lot, they just go into fucking fight or flight mode. You just instantly, you know, at the snap of a whim, they're like, oh fuck, either I gotta get out of here, or I gotta start fucking doing something. And you know, the GM uh, Cold Districts type is pretty good at <laughs> freaking people out. Just all that damage, they they're forced to make something, but don't rely on psychology to do your shit. <laughs> just just uh, rely on the the insane damage and breaking of the parts. That uh, the gun does. It's pretty pretty good, and then you also get your stun with your grenade launcher, and you also have your Vulcans. I mean, you only get the uh, one melee swing too, but honestly, the machine gun's the uh, the star of the suit. It's just a uh, really good. You 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 just uh, yeah, you just turn people into Swiss cheese. I'd uh, highly recommend. Uh, you know, if you have all the other cold districts types, uh, you know, if you want a level four, I can I can recommend getting a level four. It's really fun to use. It's just uh, you just have to be careful and uh, just God, he free, <laughs> give him a nice little choke slam. And the ace decided to uh, downswing me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess he's gonna need help. So I think here I called for some help because I don't think the ace is gonna last long against that e freak. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a, I recommend, even if uh, you don't want the level 4, I mean, if you're looking at the level 1 or level 2, level 3, I uh, highly recommend you get this suit. I think it's perfect for both beginners and uh, pros alike, really. You know, beginners, it kind of gives them a good suit to use that that, that isn't like uh, super... Uh, brain dead stunned uh, down hit you get your damage off in a pretty good way maybe for those people who are scared to uh, initiate in melee combat you give them this suit and tell them to shoot at somebody they'll still do pretty good and you know for your pros you got uh, a suit that's a little bit off meta maybe not in lower cost but you know you got something that plays a little bit different it's, uh, you can you know mess people up with it still it's just that good and uh, that ace totally could have finished me off right there. But I guess uh, my teammate got the stone on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's playing the, uh, the Jouage. Oh, yeah, playing with friends. <laughs> ace mode. Ace match, you know. That's boring to know in the last 20 seconds of the match. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, the Cold Districts type. It's, uh, I'm going to say it again, it's a pretty damn good suit. Now, uh, it's probably not best for something like... Uh, Mix up mode with high cost running around and uh, yeah, get choke slammed again. He still killed our ace, but whatever. I got the choke slam and he free. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, not for mix up mode because those suits are way too high cost for ballistic damage to do much of anything, really. At least the machine gun. Which, uh, I really wish a lot of the machine guns in this game had a faster firing rate. Either like the, the bullpup or this gun. But uh, what would make the cold districts type that important? What would make it uh, stand out from the rest? <laughs> you don't have a... I mean, uh, it's all fun, you know, by yourself, and then everyone else starts doing the same thing you do. <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, the cold districts type with its uh, buzzsaw machine gun. And uh, yeah, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, like it. Comment, you know, if you, what do you feel about the... Uh, the cold districts type. So I, mean, I like it. It's a uh, pretty handy. Uh, I I don't know how I feel about it being level four. Actually, yeah, it's pretty good at level four. I mean, with all the uh, there's still some efreets running around. You can disable pretty quick, and uh, still still melts general's health at least a little bit if you get all your shots off. And you know it does come with that stun in the melee. So I, I think it's pretty worth it at level four. Uh. Although when we start reaching like 450 and 500, I don't know, man. That maneuver armor can save him from uh, support fire, but when he doesn't have a dodge roll at those costs, that might uh, that might kill him. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Don't let me. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't let me. 